Selling online requires a process and this process took me quite a long time for me to master and once I started doing it, it was amazing how this really works. So what you need to do is to make sure that you get people to know, like and trust you. And this process here is very important because remember, people buy from people right? They don't just buy from um, strangers, or in fact, they do buy from strangers, but it's easier if they know who they're buying from. So this is what we're trying to establish here. So in this diagram here, we're going to need a lot of people, traffic, right? To come to some sort of a landing page or onto your website. So when they come to the website, you don't want to sell the product or service right away. I know it sounds crazy, but if you're trying to uh, convince people to buy your affiliate product or to buy your course, just to sell the course right away, it doesn't work. People need to get to know, like, and trust you, and just to have an idea if you know what you're talking about. So usually what works here is you give them a bonus, right? It may be a mini course. It could be maybe some software that you've created that you want to give away for free. So that way they can get to have an idea of what sort of person you are and uh, if they can trust you and if you know what you're talking about because imagine if i just came up to you and said oh you know what i'm selling this mouse here it does a b c d e buy it now chances are you're not going to buy it but if i'm if i say to you okay i want to show you how this uh, mouse can be used to achieve maybe whatever result, then you may want to watch it. And then when you've seen the result, this could then maybe lead you to want to purchase it using my affiliate link. So this is what we're trying to achieve here. So in my case, what I do is when I promote my affiliate products, it comes with a course. It's a mini course that shows them how to use the product. So for example, Divi, which is one of my main affiliates, what I do is I say, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my course. I'm sure you heard me uh, mention this in a lot of my videos. So they leave their uh, name or email address. So once they leave their email address, uh, of course, with their consent, they get added to a database. So chances are when people leave their name and email address here, they're not going to buy straight away. So 50% may not buy or maybe even 30% may not buy. It just depends. So that 30% that doesn't buy, we can do what are known as follow-up emails to say, hey, you know what? Uh, I noticed that you may have not purchased the product. Here are the features or here are the benefits. So you want to convince them more to buy this product. And this stage here is very, very important. So this is how the cycle works. So it works for affiliate marketing. It works for selling your courses. It also works for merch or even a membership website. You want to create a no like and trust scenario that way it's going to make it easier for you to sell your products now let me show you uh, one of my affiliates uh, accounts and this is uh, elegant themes so this is live it's not pre-recorded uh, i'm going to go in now and log in so i'm on my page here i'm going to log in so you can see right so here i am so far, my current earnings are 810 US dollars. Uh, this month is actually quite low because sometimes I do make uh, more than this. Now, to date, uh, since I started promoting uh, Divi, uh, this has been about 80,000. I mean, uh, just over 80,000. So this is uh, quite interesting and this is quite high. And over here, my sales ratio is really high. And I'll explain why this sales ratio is, by. So ba is high. So basically what is happening here is, here is people are going to uh, using my link and 50, almost 50% 50 of them are buying. Okay, so this is quite high. I'll explain why. So as you can see here, this is my dashboard. I can even go here and uh, look at my payment history just to show you that this is actually a working website and not just screenshots like what other gurus out there may try to convince you that they're making so much money uh, on, um, on uh, looking at screenshots. Okay, so over here, I'll go to my uh, payment history. Looks like my internet is quite slow. Okay, here we go. So these are the payments. So this was the 3rd of March, actually January, uh, this was December and so on. So if you add all these up, this is what will give uh, this total that I showed you on the home page. Okay, so I'm just going to go back here to the home page. So I don't want to go in and show you all my 
uh, affiliate products that I promote because the goal here is not to brag and say, look how much I'm making. This is just to give you an idea of how affiliate marketing actually works if you do it the correct way, which I'll explain in this uh, in these upcoming videos. So this is just one of my products that I, uh, that I promote, but there's other products that I also promote, which are really, really good. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the next part. So here, uh, this is my WordPress website. So on my site, I have a membership and I also have uh, some courses that I sell. So let's go down here to WooCommerce because all my uh, courses are sold through WooCommerce. All right. So what we're going to do here is to go to our analytics. So let's go to our overview. So over here, we can see that uh, so far my sales are 2,100. And the previous year was 1,300. So same, same, uh, same about time here. But uh, let's go deeper into our analytics so I can show you uh, even more. So here, let's go to quarter to date and see what this looks like. I'm going to hit update. And again, this is, uh, this is exactly what is happening on my site. So here we see that uh, from January to March, this was 7,900, which is not bad, but the previous year now, uh, 2021, January to March, I made about 12,000. So you can see here that this month I'm not really doing uh, as well as I did last year, but this is what my business model pretty much looks like. The final one here is uh, YouTube. Let me show you how YouTube performs. All right, so uh, here I am on YouTube. I'm just going to go to analytics. So I don't want to go too deep here, but uh, you can see here that uh, the estimated revenue here is 1,700. That's for this month. So these are the three ways that I um, structured my online business model. And these are the ways that I really want to show you how to do because it's much easier as compared to, as I mentioned in the previous video, drop shipping or merch or even, you know, investing in Bitcoin and that kind of stuff. All right, guys, see you in the next video.